Hey, look, call the f***ing five, man. It's so far. What's good, everybody, and welcome back to Soul Priority. Of course, I'm your man, Mo, and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 sneakers, my top 10 sneakers of 2023. But before we do that, man, y'all make sure y'all head over to Instagram and give us a follow over there. If y'all want to know anything about our sneakers, what we got going on, sneaker news and things of that nature, man, y'all make sure y'all giving us a follow over there. And if you're new to the channel, man, y'all make sure y'all hitting that thumbs up Leave some comments down below and of course subscribing to your boy's channel. Y'all already know, man, over here on YouTube, algorithm is everything. And of course, man, y'all already know we need y'all help to get the channel to boom it. You feel me? Yeah, Sersky, man. End of the year, bro. A lot of heat dropped in 2023. I wasn't really disappointed in 2023, man. A lot of heat came out, man. You know what I'm saying? And now it's time for us to go through the top 10 sneakers, at least my top 10 sneakers of 2023. Now, I ain't going to prolong it, man, because this video can be very long, bro. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to dive right into this thing, man. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing started, man. Wow. So now the first sneaker right here, man, I'm going to start from 10. Then we're going to go to one coming in at number 10, bro is one of the most slept on sneakers, bruh, I think, of the year. You know what I'm saying? The Palominos, bro, coming in at number 10. This sneaker right here was, I mean, slept on big time, bruh. I think the Palomino did end up selling out, though. It did, it did end up selling out, man, but definitely a slept on sneaker, bro, and deserved to be in the top 10, I think, and it came in at number 10 on my list. I love the black, I love the brown. It's a dope sneaker, bro. And I did have the opportunity to wear it. I don't wore this one before. You know what I'm saying? So y'all know I wear my sneakers, man. You know, I got so many, but you know, I, I do wear them. You know what I'm talking about? But Palomino's coming in at number 10 in this thing, man. Now coming in at number nine, bro, was another, I, I want to say, it was slept on, bro, and it kind of gradually got a little hype um, a, a couple of weeks wow. after, I want to say. You know what I'm saying? After its release. But came, coming in at number nine, bro, it the Spider-Man origin joints, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, this right here, my UA pal. I look for my retail pal, but man, to no avail, bro, I think it's downstairs in my basement. But... The Spider-Man came in at number nine, bro. Of course, I'm a big fan of the Spider-Man films and uh, um, the Spider-Verse film, bro. It was an awesome film. I love everything about this sneaker. I haven't had the opportunity to wear this one or my retail pair yet, but I am gonna, you know, eventually DS one of them. You know what I'm saying? Which is probably gonna be this one, but you know what I'm saying? But the Spider-Man, Definitely came in at number nine. I love everything they did with this shoe, bro. It's a beautiful shoe. Um, and to me, it just deserved to be on the top 10, man. Well, in the top 10 list. So the Spider-Man, Spider-Verse joints, bro, coming in at number nine, man. Number nine. All right. So now number eight is a classic sneaker, bro. One that you can't go wrong with. Um again it's like a classic jordan and it definitely definitely had to be on my top 10 so coming in at number eight man y'all already know what time it is bro the cherry 12 things bro y'all feel me the cherry 12s bro came in at number eight on my list it's a classic sneaker of course again this was jordan the waist sneaker and i had to have this one in my top in my top 10 bro beautiful sneaker man and it was gonna definitely make my top 10 y'all see it right there man the air jordan cherry red things bro you know what i'm saying the 12 that is bro so 
This is number eight on my list for 2023, bro. Now, as we go down the line, man, I know y'all gonna be like, bro, what a heat, what a heat. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of heat, man, it, it surprisingly didn't make my list, bro. You know what I'm saying? Didn't make my list. Now, coming in at number seven, y'all already know, bro, the Air Jordan playoff eight things, bro. And again, man, man dust, bro. But... The Air Jordan Playoff 8 was one that I was really, really waiting on, bro. Like, I had to have this sneaker in my collection. And I spoke about this last year, man, um, about how I wanted the Playoff 8s. And they were going to definitely be a part of my collection. So, y'all already know, man, the Playoff 8s had to be a part of this collection, man. So, coming in at number 7, 7? Yeah. Coming in at number 7, man. Y'all see it right here, the playoff eights. Yes, Sersky. Yes, Sersky. Yes, Sersky. And were they, bro? Were they? You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Now, the next sneaker is kind of, I guess you could say the next one kind of hype. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm a fan of the three, so you know what I'm saying? This one was going to make it anyway. You, you know what I'm talking about? So, y'all already know, man, coming in at number six, bro, is the J Balvin joints, bro. Y'all see that thing right there, man. The J Balvin 3's beautiful, bro. This is a beautiful sneaker. I don't know if anybody, you know, had or didn't have this sneaker on their list um, this year, but definitely, man, the quality, everything that they did with this sneaker, bro, was beautiful, man. The box, the sneaker, the sunset on the back right there. Like, this thing right here, man, is nice. I have not had the opportunity to wear it yet, man. This probably gonna be one of those vacation joints I pull out next year, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, when me and wife go on vacation, I might pull the Balvin's out, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, break them in. You feel me? But, of course, man, I had to have these a part of my top 10. So the J Balvin 3s, bro, coming in at number six on my list. You feel me? Now, we getting down to the good ones. You know what I'm saying? We getting down to the top five. Um, Now, coming in at number five, collaboration sneaker, bro. Um, Shout out to everybody over there at Um Um and Year, man. They did a very, very good job with these, bro. And y'all already know, man, coming in at number five is the Air Jordan Amamanier Dusk, bro. This thing right here is beautiful, bro. Everything that they did with these, man, they, it's on point. I like how they, you know, slimmed it down, the colorway, everything just... Bro, everything about this nigga right here says quality. You know what I'm saying? And I'm um, um, year has that about them. They when they release something, bro, it's quality. You know what I'm saying? So these right here definitely, definitely had to be in the top five. Definitely top five, bro. Top five. So the I'm um, um, year five made it in at number five. You feel me? Glad to have this in a part of my collection, man. It ain't going nowhere, bro. Then you got the um um and you're in the bubble too, bro. Like, man, come on, bro. This thing right here clean, man. Clean, bro. So the um um and you're five coming in at number five on my list of 2023 sneakers, man. You know what I'm talking about? Now, this sneaker right here, man, that coming in at number four just recently released. You know what I mean? Um... Definitely a hype sneaker. This is a hype sneaker. Um, and of course, I, I I was tossed up between uh, what is it, the four and and you know what I'm saying, like number four and number three. It could have went either way. You know what I'm saying. It could it really could have went either way. But coming in at number four, man, the Kobe Reverse Grinch things, bro. Y'all see that thing right there, man. Beautiful, bro. Beautiful, man. You got to love this sneaker right here, man. And it's light, man. Like, 
lot. If you a baller, bro, I don't know how many times I don't say it that bro, but if you a man, if you hooping, bro, if you hooping, these would have probably made your number one. But these right here, man, the reverse Grinches, definitely, definitely had to be within my top five. These are beautiful, bro. Beautiful. And I know y'all like, dang, bro. What is gonna be three, two, and one? You know what I mean? Hey, and we still got a lot of, you know, we still got a lot of sneaker left. You know what I'm saying? Two from, but the uh, Kobe Reverse Grinch made number four on my list, man. I love this sneaker, bro. It ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I really, really like this one. I gotta get the regular Grinch up in here, man. You know what I'm talking about? You gotta get that reg the, the regular Grinch in here so because I do not own that one. That one I do not own, the regular Grinch. You know what I mean? But uh, the top three, bro, top three sneakers of 2023. I guess you could say like these last three might be like a little bit of hype. You know what I'm saying? Like, but um, definitely number three is hype. It's all hype, bro. But I still love this sneaker, bro. Like, I love this sneaker, man. It's dope. It's hot. You know what I'm saying? So coming in at number three, bro, is the Air Jordan Travis Scott Olive Things, bro. Bam. Y'all see that thing right there, bro. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. So coming in at number three, man, y'all see it right there, man. Travis Scott Olive I love it, man. I have not yet worn this sneaker, man. I need to break it in, man, and, and undies it, bro. Um, it's been on my wall ever since. Y'all know, like I said, I keep my Travis's behind me back there. And this one has been on my wall ever since it's gotten here. You know what I'm saying? It's one of the ones, man, that I, I really love this sneaker right here, bro. I really, really love this sneaker. And it's a dope sneaker, man. And, um definitely worthy of being in the top three you know what i'm saying i know a lot of people are like man you ain't got the harito dunks or nothing like that man i'll be under with y'all didn't no no dunk make make my own my list this year you know what i'm saying like i didn't i don't have any dunks in my list this year man maybe next year i don't know you know what i'm saying but this year nah this year nah man you know what i'm saying and uh you know shout out to the people that got dunks in their list you know what i mean but uh not for me not for me but um coming in at number two this sneaker right here man was crazy people went crazy when it dropped it you know what i'm saying man it started a frenzy bro you know what i'm saying when this sneaker dropped man and i'm definitely glad to have this sneaker in my collection as well man it's a beautiful sneaker um and very comfortable bro very comfortable man Coming in at number two, bro, is the Jordan SB4s. Bam! Y'all see that thing right now, bro? The SB4, man. One of the most comfortable Jordan 4s, man. If you don't have this one, you know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people talk about the Pinky Toe Killer, because, bro, right there, that Pinky Toe Killer will get you every time, bro. But I have worn these, and these are comfortable, bro. So if you don't have these, man, if you don't want to pay um, resale for them, y'all already know what to do. But you know what I'm saying? These are comfortable, bro. The Air Jordan 4 um, Pine Green SBs, bro. These, these right here, man, awesome sneaker, man. Awesome sneaker, bro. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? So coming in at number two, man, is the Adjoin 4 um, SB Pine Green things, man. Love these. Love these. Love the bottom on these, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're different. Now, we down to the top, dog, bro, of 2023, man. By now, I'm pretty sure y'all already know, man, um, what the sneaker is. You know what I'm saying? This sneaker right here, man, is just nostalgia in a bottle, bro. This is just, you know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes to the sneaker game, when this sneaker right here dropped, I knew I had to have it. I knew I had to have it, you know, um, because of my collection. Um, and, you know, like I told y'all, man, when it comes to my collection, I want everything. Well, not everything, but, you know, like 1 through 14, I definitely got to have, which I got to show y'all all my sneakers that I have, man, 1 through 14. So I do an episode on that as well. But 
let's get down to the number one sneaker, bro. Nah, the number one sneaker of 2023, in my humble opinion, man, is the Air Jordan Reimagine Threes, bro. Number one worthy right here, man. These right here, beautiful, bro. Gorgeous sneaker, man. A Tinker Hatfield design. This sneaker right here changed Jordan. This nigga right here was so hard, bro. It changed Jordan's mind, bro, to come back tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how crazy these are right here, bro. Y'all remember Jordan was gonna leave after the number after the uh after the two. He was like, man, nah, bro, y'all tripping. But when Tinker put this uh Al Jordan 3 in front of him, bro, he was like, man. Nah, I can't go. I can't go nowhere, bro. They they giving me stuff like this. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Got to stay. Got to stay. But coming in at number one, man, for 2023 is the Air Jordan 3 Reimagines, man. I love these, bro. I love these right here. Of course, they're still dead stock. I have not worn these. I don't even have a UA pair of these. To be honest with you, man, um, I need to get somebody to send me a pair so I can have, you know what I'm saying, have them to kick around in because I'm definitely not, I don't want to wear those at all. You know what I'm talking about? They're going to stay on ice. You feel me? But, um, yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed my list. Um, Next year, let's see what, you know what I'm saying, we'll see what turns up next year, man. A lot of sneakers, these sneakerhead been showing us as of late. Um... 2024 looking like it's going to be just as crazy as 2023, man. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the plugs that provided me with all of these. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel, I feel blessed, bro. I'm blessed to be able to do what I do and show you guys these sneaker, man, week in and week, in, you know what I'm saying? Week in and week out. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm very humble and I'm very appreciative of everything I get the opportunity to show y'all, whether it's real, fake, rep, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool with it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, and I guess, man, that's going to pretty much wrap up everything, man, for 2023. I had a blast with you guys, man. I'm hoping you guys hang around 2024. Got a lot going on in 2024, man. We're going to ramp this thing up. Even, I mean, even more, man. I know y'all seen over on um, Instagram, bro. We doing lives over there on Instagram. So if y'all have not followed me on Instagram, bro, y'all make sure y'all follow me over there on Instagram because if not, y'all missing some treats, man. I'm not playing, bro. Over there, we do them lives. We done had Tony D over there. We done had the guy with the viral video that went viral with, um, what was it, uh, Got Soul or, or one of the um the sneaker events he was in when he got put out. I think that video got like a million views or something, bro. He came over and he told us his side of the story, man. It's just a lot, bro. Like, we done had, you know, um as of late, we had an all-women panel over there, man. Like, some of your favorite um women's uh, sneaker YouTubers, man, and all that, bro. Like, man, we've been having a blast over there on Instagram, bro. So, I, I, I really sincerely hope y'all going over there and checking out instagram you know what i'm saying and of course your boy just started the podcast back up so so priority podcast man we back in effect so i'll be doing podcasts every week sometime by myself sometime with the squad from over there on um on instagram but man like i said man we about to ramp this thing on up bro and, and go crazy in 2024 man and i would love for you guys to be a part of it you know what i'm talking about but um I ain't going to hold y'all, man, because I'm coming up on 20 minutes right now, bro. You know what I'm talking about? And I really don't want to edit this. I just want to run it straight through. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but uh, that was my list, man, for 2023. Listen, I'm going to see y'all in 2024, man. And we're going to be doing the same thing, but bigger. You feel me? Listen, man, Happy New Year to y'all, man. Um, I see y'all on the other side. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all stay blessed out there. Stay doing y'all thing, man. Of course, like I tell y'all, y'all always in my thoughts and prayers, man. Of course, y'all know what I always tell y'all, man. I'll see you guys, man, in the next review, bro. I'm about this thing, y'all. I am gone, man. <laughs>